Hello and welcome, Monkey Pinata here. Today we are playing some Magic the Gathering Arena. Today we will be playing a mono white weenie deck. Uh, everything's below ish, three ish mana. This, these two really don't count. They have Convoke, and I'm going to have a lot of creatures out, more than likely. So, um, we'll go jump into this. Um,. I have played like two games. I've lost both of them so far. But hopefully we can get a win in this game. Um, this hand does not look too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Um, we will be playing Snubbered Sentry first. To see if we can mitigate some of that damage from this one one. Then turn two, we're probably going to be take, playing the Tith Taker, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Another haste creature. He's probably going to swing with both of them here. He's going to be blocking one of them. Hopefully he doesn't have any mana tricks. He does have some combat tricks. Um, It's not too bad, though. He's not going to have that for our boy here. Probably go ahead and play this guy. We can block one of the one ones if he does decide to throw them in. Hopefully he doesn't have another shot just to ping off our guy. He very well might though, and he does. Alright. Honestly, this is one of the more annoying decks for me to play against. Right at the stage. To another guy. Alright, we're gonna be playing both the Tith Taker and the Dauntless Bodyguard here. That didn't let me... Oh, well, it was my only creature, so I just automatically bonded to it. Alright, and everything is gonna have... All this can swing at me this turn. It's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Let's see what he is going to do here. He's got one card in hand. So if we can outlast this little onslaught here, I think we can swing back from this. We have two Loxodons in our hand, so. Um, if he doesn't swing with the, I think we're just gonna take the damage. Just for I can get this Loxodon out. Maybe I can play a card. We draw one. Uh, we can. So we play the creature for one mana. We got three creatures out. It's five. So we can play all of this. Hit the Loxodon. There's all the creatures here. Put a 1 more counter on everything we just convoked. And we'll go to his turn. See how this works out for us. We are tapped out creature wise right now. Which is a little scary. He's probably going to swing mostly everything. Uh, he probably just drew into a shock. I would uh, really be shocked if he didn't. I am going to block it though. Wizard's Lightning. Three damage. That is not the worst thing in the world. But not really the best. All right, Conclave Tribunal. Um, we really need to... We could tap the... everything out for the Loxodon again. That isn't the worst idea in the world. Make everything big. We 
are gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, is he going to do that with both of his guys? It still works. I just got one less guy now. Okay, he's gonna make another guy with haste. So it seems like I'm gonna be taking two to the face. Gonna go ahead and block with the Loxodon again. Now we really are kind of running out of steam here. Hopefully we can draw into something to play. We are going to be swinging for eight next turn. I think we might hold back the Loxodon. Just in case. Maybe. We're down to 10. He will be down to 12. The Hunted Witness. We're going to go ahead and go main phase here. I mean, not main phase, but combat phase. Uh, it seems like he does have an instant in his hand. I think we do kind of have to go for broke here, maybe. And just swing with everything. So I'll be at 8. I'm at 8 if I swing with everything. He's not going to be able to draw into 8 damage. He'll be at 8 next turn. So I think we're just going to go ahead and swing with everything. So he's down to 8 now. Oh, I forgot to play this. No! I could have blocked the damage. Okay, 3 to my face. So at 5. Can he deal 5 damage? I don't think it's physically possible. And he drew two mountains. So I think we got the game. Pretty sure we got the game. Oh. Awesome. So game one goes to us. And we'll just go ahead and put this skill mastery point in there real quick. We have two. Got a couple of points we can spend there. Get out of here. Uh-huh, you little wisp. Alright, let's go to game number two. Hopefully we have just as much success in game two as we did game one. Hopefully so. Alright, and this first, this hand right here, really not actually too bad. Um, so this is like 3 creatures, and we can play the Loxodon and pump them all. This thing will have lifelink, so... Looks like a decent hand to me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and play the... White Black. Go ahead and play this guy. Get the larger hitter out first. We can play both of these next turn. Doesn't seem to be playing anything. He's probably wanting to respond to me. Let's go into combat step, swing with my guy, and then we'll play both these. We'll play that guy first. We'll play this guy. All right. Then we can lock it on next turn if we want. Put our land in the front there. But we can lock it on next turn. Um, I think we are just gonna lock it on next turn. We don't have to use all of our creatures to convoke, but it's nice too because you get 1-1 one, one counters on all your guys. Hopefully he does not... Can we play this guy too? Uh, I think, yeah, we can. We can get a 1-1 one, one on this guy too. Alright. Got a 1-1 one, one on all of our creatures here. Go to his turn, see what he can do. He's got three mana up, he probably has one in hand. He's probably playing some kind of controly uh, deck here. Especially because he hasn't played anything yet. He's on turn four and he hasn't played anything. Uh, next turn we will be flipping the, uh, the Legion's Landing over.
and we have four and we also are going to get the uh, the city's blessing next turn because we have nine permanents out right now we also might be able to do the unbreakable formation give everything a plus one plus one counter so how much damage do we have right now so that's four seven eight ten twelve that is a decent amount of damage uh, he's gonna go ahead and destroy my 1-4. He probably thought about what I literally just said. Alright, he is timing out right here. Gonna play a 0-3. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and pass it to my turn. Um, so what are we going to do here? First off, I guess let's go to... Well, we could play this. Make sure we kill this if we hit it. Yeah, let's do this. Well, I want to do this first. I want that to get a 1-1 one, one counter. And we will... Let's just put it on this guy. This is a bigger guy. And then let's unbreakable formation. Make sure we get that plus one plus one account on all of our guys. All right, and let's go to combat here. We're gonna attack with everything. Absolutely everything. He probably is going to be blocking the five five here, so we're going to be doing ten damage. And he's gonna concede. All right, that works for me. And I guess we have time for a third game. We've actually only been in here for... You already said that. Well, if you need anything else, I'll be over here. I bet you will. All right. Going to game three right here with the other guy. And this looks like a reasonable hand as well. Yeah, I think he's just gonna play the Sky Marcher first. Let's see what he's playing here. He plays a blue mana, turn one. With a Merfolk. All right, well. This is starting to look grim, boys. Uh, let's play the Tith first. Since it is blue, oh, we're not going to be attacking. And he will be swinging at us here. And just unless you attack with a creature this turn. Alright, and I think we're going to go mass in the numbers here. Well, let's go main face. I mean, uh, combat set first. So we're just going to be attacking with both of these guys. See if we can keep up with the damage on him. We'll be playing both of these guys. And we want to keep alive this guy, probably. Probably, just in case. Alright. Let me turn shadows off real quick. I have everything on medium, but let me do custom. Um, That looks fine. All right, he doesn't seem to be playing anything yet. Maybe he's thinking of conceding. I hope so. It's already using a timeout. All right, he's going to play opt on main phase. Draw a card. Apparently what he saw he liked. He 
He's going to be playing a 1-1. One, one. He could just sacrifice the counter spell ability. Sorry about that. He didn't attack with this guy. Even though he can't be blocked. Alright, um... Can I play this guy along with this? No, I can't. I can play this guy. Let's play this guy. Let's play this guy on this guy. And then we'll play this. Tap everything here. Put a 1-1 one, one on everything. We really can't block these anyway, so if he wants to attack with them, he can. So there's really no point in not just using everything. I thought we were going to be using this. One, two, three, four, five. Can you actually tap? Oh, I thought you could, uh... Oh, that creature's color, I forgot. So we could have played this. We should have played this, to be honest with you. Not too big a video, but... Could have got that extra damage in. Well, it would have been the same damage. Just would have had one little more life. That guy's gonna concede. I didn't think he had to concede that early, but... I don't know. But, that has been... This week's Friday Night Magic with a mono-white weenie deck. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.